Starlink is now offering the high performance dish to residential customers. Stay tuned for more information. Hi, I'm Dan from the Mobile Internet Resource Center. Starlink is now offering their high performance dish as an optional hardware upgrade for new residential customers at checkout time. So instead of the standard $599 equipment price, you can choose for a one-time upgrade fee of $2,500 to purchase this new high-performance dish. Starlink first introduced the high-performance dish with Starlink Premium Service back in February of this year, which later became Starlink Business. While anyone could sign up for Starlink Business, it was obviously more aimed at the business user, costing $500 a month service fee. So now with this option available to residential customers, while you do have to pay the same $2,500 fee for the dish, your monthly service fee is still only $110. Starlink does not guarantee higher tier service or higher performance using this dish, but the dish is physically larger and has double the antenna capacity, making it more likely in non-congested areas to see superior performance. The high performance dish seems to be more aimed at the extreme user. It offers better weather protection. It offers up to three times the download speeds when temps get above 95 degrees Fahrenheit. It offers better snowmelt capabilities, but probably most important at all, it offers 35% more visibility to the sky, meaning if you have obstructions you just can't work around, you have a better chance of the high performance dish keeping you connected by, able, by being able to see more satellites at once. For our audience, probably one of the most important questions though is, is this high performance dish nomadic friendly? We did confirm with Starlink support that you can add portability and use this dish while roaming, just like the standard hardware. However, there are some negatives to take into consideration. This dish is physically larger, which means packing it up or putting it on a pole may be a little bit tougher. It also uses quite a bit more power, averaging between 110 to 150 watts per hour, which translates to about 2.5 to 3.6 kilowatt hours per day. That's about three times the power usage of the current rectangle dish that is usually under one kilowatt hour a day. The higher performance dish definitely has some higher end specs that should overall help it perform better, but you are not guaranteed higher tiers of service by using this dish on a residential plan. We would expect though in non-congested areas to perhaps see a performance boost with this dish, or if you are slightly obstructed in areas, again, the better visibility should help in those instances. As the Star Starlink satellite constellation becomes more dense, it's more likely the higher end specs of this dish will help it perform even better than it does now. It will come down to your specific use case if this high performance dish is going to suit you better and if the larger size and weight, the higher electrical demands and especially the higher price are worth it for you to purchase this dish. But if you are an extreme user or find yourself in situations where the higher specs can pay off, then this could be a nice way to enjoy the higher specs without paying the higher monthly premium that was previously only available with the business plan. Now you can enjoy this dish on the residential plan at the same monthly cost. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.